So this is the Mallorca Mela. First time we are coming together here with devotees from all over Europe. It's very wonderful to see and this is a very wonderful place to the 300 year old house which we have chosen as a sanctuary for these days because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself has come here and so much uh, enthusiasm, kirtan and uh, philosophical reflection. You see, uh, Srila Prabhupada, our spiritual master, he showed us that real spiritual life is a joyful celebration. It is joyfully performed, it is a profound reflection, it is the truth, it eliminates all lies, it is not destined to be a dual appearance in this world just for the sake for some temporary flickering happiness, but it is something to sustain us and to build up block by block the very wonderful foundation for our spiritual dedication in eternity. And that is possible in the company of devotees, in the company of sadhus, those who have sincerely decided that they want to do things in this life as God wishes them to be done. Those who have sincerely decided that whatever mediocre, sensual and egotistic mentality still prevails within them, that this is to be fought and to be... Um, restructured so that our education, our spiritual substance, our spiritual education will be so solid that we will be not sidetracked by the silly temptations of internet, television, money, fighting, lust and whatever other temptations is there in this lifetime. We have to be very serious with ourselves because life is serious. Mm -hmm. You see, when you have a child and that something happens very early in life, you ought to be serious. Children means you have to be serious. You can't treat your children as if there is some accident which they have to look after themselves. We all know that intuitively. So not only children are serious, life is serious, old age is serious, working is serious, spirituality is serious, your spirit soul is a very serious issue. And all you do is worshiping your body, wasting your time with simply decorating a body which is nothing but going to be burned or put under the earth. So this is not what's the purpose of human form of life. Take advantage. Come into the association of, association of like-minded people and together with them become strong. Strong to help others, strong to make your life such a joyful experience of helping others. Because if you share the spirit, like I'm trying to share with you the feelings and uh, what we are appreciating here in this company, in the Mallorca Mela, if you do that, if you give this feeling to others, your whole existence will turn around. You will be simply uh, in a mood of of uh, joyful waking up and uh, joyfully uh, meeting others even though you have to uh, reduce your own selfishness because if you're meeting others you have to listen to them find out what is their their sorrows and their joy and in thus this way one can really make one's life meaningful because this is all what it is about learning how to love learning how to listen, learning how to give, learning how to uplift another person. This is what Prabhupada did was with us. He uplifted us from a pretty hopeless situation. And this hopelessness in this mundane world, 2009 Kali Yuga, is not exactly uh, full of joy. Everybody's talking about uh, material depression, recession, crisis, real estate uh, prices plummeting, people losing their jobs, uh, people don't want to get married anymore anymore, children are without father or mother. It's a tough time and people are getting intoxicated left and right without gaining anything except more problems. So in this tough times, the answers of Srila Prabhupada, our Guru Deva, come in so helpful, so incredibly enlivening and hope-giving because they teach us that we are eternal spirit souls. They teach us that we are really uh, individuals on our path to perfection. This is the idea of human form of life. 
reaching perfection and perfection is not in the fancy car perfection is not in a fancy dress or in makeup or any other foolish thing the perfection of life is in the sense control mind control dedication to divinity dedication to the maximum degree of purity and love that's what love really means, the maximum degree of dedication from the heart. This is something, it's really what we are searching for in others, and that's what we should give to others. And that's what God wants from us, and that's what God gave to us. So this is all it is. Just embrace it. Embrace it and try to live it as much as you can. This is the perfection of life. And this is all we want to share with others when we invited them to the Mallorca Mela or to any other event of our spiritual tradition, the Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition, which comes from Lord Chaitanya, who appeared 500 years ago in Mayapur, in India, in Bengal, to give this joy and this hope to the world by giving them the chance to call upon God for help and teaching them how the mantra yoga, the mantra, the chanting of the holy name actually permits a conditioned soul to breach over this gap of ignorance and illusion and attachment and enter into contact with the divine reality of the supreme soul through the agency of our own individual soul's capacity, calling upon him by chanting his name, by offering ourselves to his service by requesting him humbly, Oh my Lord, please let me become an instrument of your love. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.